This is a preview of the Synthworks PGM 4x4 programming sequencer module. Uh, 4x4, is, these, as you can see here, these are the prototypes. This is uh, one of them right here. There's four of them in this uh, video. Uh, they can be chained together end-to-end -to, -end to make uh, four rows of eight programs each. As you can see, uh, you can jump back and forth from each other. Uh, they have gate inputs and push button inputs. The gate inputs, uh, I'll take any standard gate and we'll choose that one. If, uh, if one, it has a last note priority, so if you hit it with something more than one at a time, it will bounce back and forth to the last one that you held. Uh, as you can see, they are chainable. Uh, two of them in a row to make eight, but they're also stackable. In this case we have two more set up above them. They can stack basically as much as you have cabinets. So, you know, you can make it a uh, an 8 by 64, an 8 by 12, an 8 by 24, uh, you know, anything like that if you want to, if you have enough cabinet room. And uh, they will, they interlink with uh, uh, internal buses. And so that's the basic function right there. Uh, right now, these particular ones, I'm running a, a five different, six different things on this patch. Uh, I have a, a pitch for two oscillators, filter for an, uh, for the filter, a VCA uh, depth for the LFO, VCA depth for the volume of the overall patch, and speed of the LFO. So I can do... Um, right now, the, these prototypes are putting out 0 to 10 volts, but in the production models, you'll have a jump around the back that'll allow you to choose the range of each row uh, independently. So you can have uh, rows that go only to 5 volts for making pitch a little easier to tune, and uh, rows that go for 10 volts for the full volume level. I'm going to unpatch some things. I'll be right back. Here's the PGM 4x4 in a much simpler patch. Right now, I have two of the protos in series mode. Chaining is what we are calling it. They're chained together to make eight um, different programs in the normal mode. Here it is. Let me turn the volume up a little bit. Now, the thing that sets the PGM 4x4 apart from other programmers in this kind of configuration is that when you press all four buttons down, for a couple of seconds. It changes into sequencer mode. In this mode, the four column controls become different um, actions other than choosing just the columns. First one becomes clock in or step if it's done manually. The second one becomes reset. When you plug a LFO in. You can you can use the reset button. The third button becomes a run stop button. And the fourth button becomes a stop button. So this is useful for, for and of course the other side doesn't do anything right now. So for the cost of one PGM 4x4, you can get a four-step sequencer, and if you use an analog switch externally, or running off the same clock that you're running here, it will jump columns and that sort of stuff. We have future modules coming out soon that will allow you to chain and uh, combine the different rows to make different things. So there you go.